from around the globe, it's theCUBE, with digital coverage of AWS reInvent 2020. Special coverage sponsored by AWS Global Partner Network. Hello, and welcome back to theCUBE's virtual coverage of AWS reInvent 2020. It's virtual this year, we're usually in person. This year we have to do remote interviews because of the pandemic, but it's been a great run. A lot of great content happening here in this next three weeks of reInvent. We've got two great guests here as part of our coverage of the APN Partner Experience. I'm your host, John Furrier. Barbara Kessler, Global APN Programs Leader. Ryan Broadwell, Global Director of ISVs for AWS. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. Thanks for uh, joining me. Hey, thanks for having us. It's great to be here. You know, we heard on yeah, the- Yeah, thanks for having us, John. Uh, thanks, thanks for coming on. Sorry we're not in person, uh, but tons of content. I mean, there's a lot of the VODs, the, the main stages, but the news hitting this morning around Doug's comments around strong focus of ISVs is just a continuation. We heard that last year, okay? But this year, more focus, investments there, new announcements. Take us through what we just heard and what it means. Yeah, John, I'll jump in first and then let Barbara add some additional color and commentary, but I think it is a continuation for us as we look at continuing to build uh, momentum with our ISVs, they're mission critical for us, and we hear that loud and clear from our customers. So as you think about building off what Doug was talking about, I think it's first important for us to start with, You know, we look to help our partners build and build well-designed solutions on AWS you know, supporting their innovation and transformation and working together to deliver scalable, reliable, secure solutions for our customers. So to facilitate this, we offer programs such as AWS SaaS Factory that provide enablement to our ISVs to build new products, migrate single tenant environments, or optimize existing SaaS solutions on AWS. And we do this through mechanisms like webinars, um, boot camps, workshops, and even one-on-one -on -one engagements. You know, as you talked about, you know, we just heard from Doug announce um, AWS SaaS Boost, which is a ready to use open source implementation of SaaS tooling and best practices to accelerate ISV's SaaS path. You know, through SAS Factory, which we've worked on with many ISVs in the last few years, and you're well aware of, you know, we have lots of learnings, and we've helped a lot of partners, you know, make that journey towards SAS. Partners like BMC, a Cloud Zero, you know, a NASDAQ, a Cohesity, or F5, you know, transform their delivery and business models to SAS. We've had a lot of demand for this type of engagement, and we knew it was important that we come up with a scalable way to help partners accelerate their transformation. SaaS Boost provides a prescriptive experience to transform applications through an intuitive tool with many prescript, with, excuse me, with many core services needed to develop and operate on the AWS cloud. In addition to that, we look to the Well Architect framework which is proven to set the architectural best practices for designing and operating systems in the cloud to help ISVs build their solutions on AWS. We just launched two additional lenses in Well Architected Tool to enable ISVs to conduct these re reviews from within the AWS console, one SaaS environment and one aligned with foundational technical reviews which helps partners prepare for the technical validation in AWS partner programs. You know, the SaaS boost, I love that. I was joking on Twitter, it sounds like an energy drink. You know, give me some of that SaaS boost. You know, don't drink too many of them, you get you know, too strung out. Uh, but this is what people want, Barbara. This is about the, the partner network. You guys are providing more stuff, more successful uh, programs and capabilities. This is what the demand is for. Help me get there faster, path to SaaS, can you explain what this means for partners? I mean, how, how does it, what's in it for them? Can you share your thoughts? Yeah, absolutely. And you know, Ryan talked about some of the things that we do to help partners build their, their ISC and software or SaaS products. Um, but in addition to that, we, we provide a number of programs and resources to help partners um, also grow their business through marketing and sales focused programs. It's an area that we are um, focused on investing deeply with our partner community. Um, for example, um, we offer APN marketing centrals through which partners can um, find and launch free customizable marketing campaigns or even find a marketing agency to work with that has experience messaging AWS. 
Um, it also offers APN marketing activity. Um, we recognize that not all partners, um, especially if they're in their startup stages, um, have those investments and skill sets yet around marketing. Um, so Marketing Academy offers self-service content to teach partners who don't have that capability in-house today um, how to drive awareness campaigns um, and build demand for their offerings. Um, we also offer um, a broad set of funding benefits to help partners um, starting from the build stage that Ryan talked about um, through sandbox credits to support their development, um, all the way through marketing um, with market development bonds and through selling with what we call our Partner Opportunity Acceleration Program, which is how we fund POCs to support our partners in winning new customers. Um, we also heard Doug announce in the keynote that um, we are launching the ISV Accelerate program. Uh, this is our new co-selling program for ISVs that offers compensation incentives for AWS account managers, um, access to co-sell specialists, and reduced marketplace listing fees to help our partners continue to grow their business with us. You know, successful selling is amazing. You want to make money, right? I mean, come on, you're bringing a lot to the table. Co-selling, I think that's a huge point. Nice call out there. Ryan, can you give some examples of partners that have been successful with these resources? Hey, John, thank you. Yeah, it'd be great to kind of walk through one good example in a little bit of detail. You know, and what we've seen with SciSense is a great example of a partner that leveraged these resources and the work that they've done with Luma, Luma Health. So Luma Health serves millions of patients, provides a cloud hosted patient engagement platform that connects patients and providers. You know, when word about COVID started, you know, spreading Luma Health saw a big increase in questions and concerns from patients and the providers. You know, Luma Health saw an opportunity to create new products to help patients and providers during the pandemic. You know, to decide how to, what to build and, and how to build it, the company wanted to analyze sentimental or sent, some, excuse me, sentinel and data real time. Using SciSense, Amazon Redshift and Amazon Web Services, data migration services, Luma Health built a platform um, that delivered analytics and insights it needed, democratizing access to the data for all users. As a result, Luma Health uncovered insights such as facts that SMS was a preferred method of communication and that many patients had similar questions. Just three weeks after their hypothesis, Luma Health re released new products based on its insights, a turnkey EHR enabled healthcare solution, zero contact check-in and COVID-19 broadcast messaging system. So a lot of good successes. The question that I would ask you guys, this is the, probably what's on everyone's mind is, I'm a partner, I'm growing. Obviously I'm in the partner network because I'm being successful. I don't have a lot of time. I need to figure out all the stuff that you have. You have so much going on that's good for me. I don't know what to do. Can you help me figure out what resources and programs to leverage? I can imagine this is a question that I would have. Like I want to, certainly I want to make money, co-sell. I want to get into those programs. What's the best path? I mean, what do I do? Can you? share how you help your partners get on the right road, have the right resources, what are the yeah. right programs? Because it makes it more consumable. This is probably a big challenge. Can you share your thoughts? Yeah, happy to, to explore that. So um, we certainly find a lot of opportunity to innovate with our partners and customers. And as a result, we do offer a broad range of programs, resources, material um, to meet the diverse needs of those partners and customers. Um, one focus of these programs and enablement uh, model that we offer partners is to help our partners build their products and build their business with us. And the other focus is to create program structures that help customers find the right partner and the right solution at the right time. But we recognize it's a lot. <laughs> we want to make sure that our partners are easily able to find what's most relevant to them um, and to deliver this more effectively for our ISV partners specifically. Doug just announced the launch of ISV Partner Path. Um, as with everything we do at AWS, this new program structure works backwards from our customers and our partners um, to deliver on the, the needs of both of those audiences. Um, when a customer identifies a need for a solution, they search for that solution um, based on the, their business needs and the outcomes that they're looking to deliver rather than searching based on a partner profile. So ISV Partner Path 
pivots the focus that we have today on partner level tier badging to instead focus on solution level validation badging that helps us better align to what our customers are looking for and how they look for software products. Um, the new model responds to that partner and customer feedback that we've um, heard. It removes APN tier requirements for ISVs and introduces the ability to engage across all of the products services and solutions that a partner offers. Um, and it pivots the partner badge attainment. So today our partners achieve badging based on a tier. Um, and moving forward, they'll attain that badging to go to market with solutions that are um, validated um, and have gone through a technical assessment to either integrate effectively or run effectively on AWS. So with fewer requirements to access APN programs from differentiation to funding and co-selling, partners can engage more quickly um, in a more meaningful way and in a more clear path um, to develop their solution offering and go to market with AWS. Ryan, anything you want to add on terms of structural um, support in terms of account management and, and does everyone get in a rep? Does, you know, is there certain levels of, of attention? When does that come into play? Yeah, I think Marva has made a great point in that we have a lot of great programmatic resources, but there's also no substitution for engagement with a person. You know, and we have partner development resources available to engage you know, with our partners and help them develop their individualized plans that help them understand how they maximize the opportunity with their customer set and expand their customer sets. You know, this starts as soon as a partner registers with the AWS Partner Network. You know, they're contacted by a partner development team member within the first business day. Um, this is a commitment we find, you know, incredibly important to the partner. Um, and even when we have, you know, five or more new partners registering every single day. You know, we will look to go beyond that. And it's not just about onboarding to your point, John. You know, our partner development team, you know, works backwards from the customer and the partner to help develop what is that joint plan? You know, and how do we focus on what's strategic to the partner and what becomes strategic to our customers? You know, with that plan, our team works to activate that broadly across um, the team in support of achieving our joint goals. You know, and then naturally all partnerships, you know, we want joint accountability. Um, we want mechanisms to measure success. You know, I talked to a lot of channel partners over the years in my career and the cloud is really highlights the speed and the agility feature, but it all comes down to the same thing. I want to get my solution in front of the customer. I want to make money. I want to make it easy to use, make it easy to consume. I want to leverage the cloud. This is kind of the, this is the, 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 the process. This is always happens. This is what they want. And you guys are bringing a lot to the table. Um, and that's important. And I think, you know, co-selling and having the kind of support, making it consumable and easy is super great. Um, so I have to ask you with that, what's your advice for people who are jumping in? Because you're seeing more onboarding of ISVs than ever before. And we've been commenting on theCUBE for multiple years. We've been seeing the uptick in, in software SaaS ISVs. And remember, Amazon is not in the SaaS business 100% and Gartner just collapsed the platform as a service in the IS categories. That highlights the fact that your entire ISV landscape is wide open and growing. So there's new ISVs coming in. What advice would you give them to get started? Um, experience and Yeah, I can take that. Yeah. Yeah, I can take that one. Thank you. Um, and I actually want to build on something Ryan said. We actually have more than 50 new partners joining the AWS Partner Network every single day. And so having the right structure for those partners to easily navigate and the, the right resources for them is, is something that's very top of mind for us. Um, I think I can distill down about two two primary pieces of advice from, from my perspective um, for a new partner who's trying to figure out how to work with us and get involved. Um, first and foremost, build a relationship with your partner manager. Um, help them know and understand your business, the customers that you focus on, the solutions you provide, that partner manager is your advocate and can be your mentor in working with AWS. Uh, make sure they know what you're good at. Uh, partners are able to build the best traction with our shared customers and our AWS sales teams when it's very clear what they're good at and how their solutions solve specific customer problems. Um, and specialization through programs such as competency, which validate solutions based on industry use case, um, or workload is really key to helping communicate that specific value. 
Um, and second, uh, I would say avail yourself of the resources um, available to you. We offer a number of self-serve resources. Um, such as the new uh, ISV Navigate track that is launching in conjunction with ISV Partner Path um, that provides um, individuals that sort of step-by-step -step guidance um, to move through that engagement with us and connect them to all the resources that they need. Um, Marketing Central, which we discussed earlier, um, to drive marketing campaigns that can be very um, self-serve um, and driven by the partner. Uh, partner Central, which offers a wealth of content, white papers, et cetera. That's our, our portal through which partners engage. Um, and you can also access things like training and certification discounts um, to build your cloud um, skills to support your business. Um, and I think both of those are really important things to keep in mind for uh, for partners who are we're just kind of getting started with us, as well as partners who've been working with us for a while now. Ryan, what what do you want to add to that? Because again, there's more ISVs coming, and again, Amazon has been very disruptive in its enablement of partners. Not everyone fits into a nice clean bucket. I mean, what looks like a category might be old and being disrupted to a new category is being developed. All these new categories and new solutions. It's hard to put people into buckets. So you, you have a tough job. How do, you, how do you give advice to your partners? It is tough, right? And the rate of transformation continues and the rate of innovation continues to you know, quicken. You know, my advice is lean in with us. You know, we continue to invest our efforts in developing this vibrant community of partners. Um, so lean in. You know, we'll continue to you know, iterate around our optim and optimize our joint plans and activities. Um, and we look to be able to continue to drive success for our customers and our partners. Well, you guys do a great job. I want to say I've watched the APN grow and change and evolve. Um, market demand is there and you got the factory, you got the boost, you got the lenses, you got the partner network, the people. Uh, it's a people equation with software. So congratulations. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. Thank you so much, appreciate the time. Thank you. Okay, great, great event here. Reinvent 2020 virtual. This is theCUBE virtual. I'm John Furrier, your host. Wall-to-wall -wall coverage with theCUBE. Thanks for watching.